But tonight we're going to start with NBC Barrier's Robert Honda, who is at Levi Stadium. We just told you the 49ers are gearing up for that big playoff game at home this Saturday. They're going to be battling the Seahawks, and they're going to be battling also the Elements. Well, the countdown has started for the 49ers big playoff game against the Seattle Seahawks here at Levi Stadium. And of course, a lot of preparation goes into making sure that the stadium is ready for the game. It's not only a matter of getting the field ready for the players to make sure they have good footing. It's also a matter of getting the stadium ready for the fans. The game is still days away, but some fans are already here. We're talking about these huge fans brought in to blow dry the drenched field before and even during the game. Grounds crews are working long hours to get Levi's ready, which reassures fans we talked to at the 49er store. Uh, we have a pretty good field. I mean, so far I've never seen really bad conditions. It was really alarming, so pretty comfortable with a win. Pretty confident, huh? Oh, yeah. And so is Jim Mercurio, executive vice president and general manager of Levi's, because his crews are working on essentially a new field. We replaced the field a couple games ago. Uh, so we think the, the field can take the water that it's taking right now. Got a little bit of a storm coming through right now. Uh, and then we'll start uh, painting again tonight uh, before covering the field in time for, the, for a bigger storm that we expect coming in on uh, Friday night, Saturday morning. Mercurio also points out crews work with players on the right shoes and cleats. So I'm sure they'll, they'll come out early on, they'll adjust it, and they'll see whether or not this is the right size cleat that they'll use. And so they'll make those adjustments inside the, the locker room. That's what those professionals are for. Fans we talked to agreed. We played in Seattle in the rain. I mean, I think, we, I think we're going to be good in the rain. I mean, even though that we, we had that tough game in Washington, I mean, I think we'll do well. Well, once these big fans are in place, there's still a lot more that needs to be done, but the team says everything is on schedule. After that, it's up to the 49er fans to prepare for the storm and get ready for the game on Saturday. As the team says, the weather may or may not cooperate, but it's going to be the fans in the seats that give them the home field advantage. In Santa Clara, Robert Honda, NBC Bay Area News. Okay, thank you, Robert. Let's turn things over to Jeff and talk about what it's going to be like on Saturday. We are going to get a little bit of a break, so at least the field will dry out a little bit, but Saturday's going to be raining, right? It is. Uh, you know, the early indications, though, do show on Saturday's forecast. We may get the bulk of it through the morning, so may only be into some scattered rain, at least down there through the South Bay as we head through Saturday afternoon, but uh, still bring that poncho if you do have tickets, because, of course, those forecasts uh, can get up updates and changes as we have seen. So let's take it to these totals. I've been tracking a few cities here over the duration of the past 15 days. This is from eight different storms, 18.62 inches in Kentfield, Danville 15.67, San Francisco 15.68, Redwood City even at 11.19. So two to three times our January monthly rain coming in just about two weeks time. So that's why the flood danger still remains high tonight. We're under a flood watch this evening as the storm continues to kick through for parts of the East Bay, North Bay and the peninsula. So be very careful out there. A lot of the creek streams and rivers are still running very high and also fast. Now the latest storm system I can show you here. The worst of it has already moved out. We're just tracking some light to moderate rainfall that's going to continue to move into Santa Rosa through 610 Vallejo into 630 tonight and look at this by 11 p.m. Most of us dry some spotty showers left up near Guerneville and for the first time in a long time, we're going to start off the commute tomorrow morning with also some dry conditions. So that is going to be nice for us. So we're considering it a break tomorrow next storm Friday. And as that arrives, more of the same stuff here. Flood concerns are high landslide potential wind gust 20 to 50 could also bring down more power outages. Now Sierra snow that's going to be one additional feet on Friday for some of the highest levels. And that's going to add on to this snowpack, which is key to getting rid of the drought right now. Central Sierra that includes Tahoe 280 228% of normal Southern Sierra 269. I've got a look at that Friday storm also Saturday and next Monday coming up in about 15 minutes. All right, Jeff, it is certainly active.